So hi, Microbe Hunter here, and today I'm going to put a mosquito under the microscope. Well, even though there are so many mosquitoes here, I still kind of find it difficult to catch uh, some of them using my little container here. I have to wait until they sit down and then I have to quickly uh, put uh, the container over it. So there is a mosquito now sitting over here um, on my arm, feeding itself. I wonder if I'm able uh, to catch it. Okay, here it is, and up, oh, got it. Oh, okay, now it's in here, in the container. Okay, I proudly present a mosquito of southern France. So the question is now, of course, how do you take a mosquito uh, home uh, so that I can prepare it and make a permanent mount, which I'm going to show you at, towards the end of the video. How can I do that? Because I do not want to transfer species of one region to a different region. Uh, you shouldn't be doing that. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be adding a little bit of uh, disinfectant, uh, which we now use uh, quite uh, frequently during the corona times. And the disinfectant contains alcohol and this is going to kill the mosquitoes. Well, back at home, I immediately took the mosquito and put it directly under the microscope uh, to get a better view of it. And I have to admit, well, hmm, the result was not very promising. The mosquito was all dried up and was a little bit distorted and very, very fragile. Uh, so I had to handle it with quite a bit of care. And I also had problems rotating it around a little bit because it was so irregular in shape. So it could got, not get a very nice picture. So I thought, said, okay, I'm going to use now so-called entomological needles. These are very, very fine needles that insect uh, researchers use to pin their insects. And this actually was successful and I was able to pin the insect on a piece of cork and this way I was able to rotate it and manipulate it a little bit better. And this is where I was also able to get better images this way. And uh, what we can see is, is that the insect is covered in scales, lots of them. And we're going to have a closer look at them later on when I put them under the compound microscope. Today I'm visiting the Camargue region of southern France um, on my left side uh, behind uh it almost looks like bamboo. It's uh, yeah. Um, you see, there is a river over there on the other side, uh, also covered by trees right now. But later, I'm able to see this. There are rice paddies, and it's a very swampy and a very moist and humid area. And of course, there are lots of mosquitoes here, many more than I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, however, the people here refuse to do mosquito control, as you can see over here on this information board. The reason being that mosquitoes are considered an important part of the ecosystem. They're important uh, for frogs and for other animals as well. And they refuse uh, to use pesticides. So in that sense, uh, yeah, I can live with a couple of mosquito bites. Well, of course, I immediately also used my compound microscope uh, to look at the wing of the mosquito. And this is where I saw many of those scales. And those scales reminded me very much of the scales of butterflies. Um, so they looked uh, actually quite, uh, quite similar. The insect's wings are very transparent, uh, but there are tiny little hair and those scales are also covering it, making it look a little bit furry sometimes. Now, mosquitoes uh, have only one pair of fully developed wings. And this is one way how they can be distinguished from other insects like for example bees and wasps and also butterflies which have two fully developed pairs of wings. In that sense uh, the mosquitoes are related more uh, to the flies which also only have uh, one pair of wings. And here again when we zoom in a lot we can see all of those nice little scales here and I wonder what they're actually used for. Maybe they kind of influence the aerodynamics of the insect uh, um, a little bit. But in any case they look uh, quite fascinating and very interesting. And uh, again some Sometimes those little uh, scales, they also broke off and could be seen also next to the wing, which shows again that the insect actually is quite fragile. Now this here is the so-called proboscis, which is the trunk uh, of uh, the mosquito, which is used to, to suck blood. And uh, this again uh, shows uh, that there are, if you look very carefully, those little scales on here. This is the very tip. Um, and actually it's not one structure, but actually several of them. Um, but unfortunately I was not able to get more details. Um, out of this because uh, the, the chitin, the so-called the exoskeleton, is relatively dark. And uh, here again, uh, some scales uh, in close-up and they are a little bit more transparent. What you normally have to do is you have to use certain chemicals to bleach the insect and to brighten, um, brighten it up to make the structures a, a little bit better visible. The claw of the insect. So this is one of the, 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 the claws of the legs of, of the mosquito. Uh, next to it again, <laughs> a small scale. And uh, this is actually also a quite fascinating to see how long the legs are. Of course, uh, being uh, arthropods, the legs are jointed. 
and the muscles that are used to move the legs they are found inside the leg and here this round structure this here is a, an air bubble and again and because uh, as I'm going to show you later I did make a permanent mount uh, of this uh, mosquito but I was not able to exclude uh, all of the air bubbles here again some of the scales that were broken off and again the leg uh, of uh, the mosquito as a matter of fact uh, I mounted four of the six legs on a microscope slide and yeah how did I extract them um, actually by moving them carefully with a needle and uh, by moving the wing around if you move it back and forth sufficiently long then the wing is going to break off and this is again this is because the insect is uh, relatively dry and also the legs they fell off uh, quite um, quite easily um, and here one of the wings actually also ended up on my thumb and then I had to carefully collect it you've got to be careful that you don't breathe on it otherwise it's all gone yeah here I am cutting off the proboscis with a scissor with a scissor because this one didn't want to go off uh, and here um, here it is and here are all of the parts of the mosquito on a piece of paper um, which are then later used uh, to actually make uh, a microscope slide a permanently mounted microscope slide yeah there are quite a few of these parts uh, and uh, here I prepare now the permanent mount so what I've done is I printed out um, so-called templates uh, I made them using PowerPoint um, this allows me to place the insect uh, right in the center of the slide and I'm going to also use a round cover glass and what I've done is, is I first put, put a drop of mounting medium on the microscope slide um, small drop uh, only and then uh, using toothpick I transferred part of the insect in this case the wing into the mounting medium I tried to uh, center it a little bit and then I put in a cover glass uh, on top and then the mounting medium was compressed and everything was very nice and, and, and flat and I kept on doing this uh, for the next couple of slides and here this one over here is the second one I put some mounting medium on top of it and then I realized something <laughs> did you already see it <laughs> yeah I could not believe this myself I was uh, just <laughs> screaming out loud I forgot to put a slide on the piece of paper on the template <laughs> I simply mounted it directly on the paper uh, luckily I was able to save the wing but as you can see my eyesight is already so bad that I did not even notice that I simply forgot uh, the microscope slide yeah but all of the other slides worked uh, quite fine I put a drop of mounting medium for First, uh, then um, yeah, the parts of the insect and then uh, a cover glass uh, goes on top and then you just have to wait some time until everything dries and at the very, very end of course I also added a couple of labels because after all this is my souvenir and from the holidays uh, of uh, 2021 so I made a total of, of five uh, microscope slides well I think <laughs> that's enough for today I hope I was also able to motivate you a little bit uh, to start exploring insects and other microscopic organisms uh, in your immediate environment yeah enough for today happy microbe hunting or insect hunting and uh, see you around next time bye bye